talk today. So again, I have a message from an ex another experience that I had at Goodwill. <laughs> Crazy, right? So this time I was at Goodwill and I was looking through the racks and I found this um, summer, not summertime, a uh, wintertime sweater dress. And I was like, dang, this is cute, but it's not wintertime. Then I heard in due season, there will be a season and that season will come that you will need this dress. And so I'm here to tell you that your things or, or your prime time or your answer or your blessing or whatever it is that you're seeking will come in its, se in its season. In its season, it will come. There will be a season where I will need that sweater dress. So why not go ahead and get it? Like I was when I was shopping with my stepmom and the other message I was telling you about Goodwill, she picked up some pillows or something for Christmas. Mind you, it's April or it was March back then. In due season, there will be a time where you will need this. So I'm telling you today, in due season, you will receive. So we have to get prepared now. Although you may not be there where you are, where you want to be, but there will be a time that you will need it. This is why I always say, start walking into the woman of God that you that God has shown you. Start doing things for the business that you have the vision for. No, it's not popping right now. No, your clientele is not up right now. No, your um, degree is not posted right now in hand. But in due season, you will have it. But you have to do the work while you're while you're um, making progress to get there. Start prepping now. And sometimes you'll see things that'll blow your mind. Like Sarah, who was old and, and couldn't have children. And the Lord and the, and the, the Lord said, "You will have children." She's like, hey, "Honey, I'm old. How am I having children? There's gonna be things that'll blow your mind." Let's think about Mary. She was a virgin and um, gave birth to Jesus. The scripture said that the angel, the Gabriel, the Lord's angel, um, came to her and said. Don't be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Now listen, you will conceive and give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called son of the most high. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, forever and his kingdom will have no end. Keep in mind the key terms here in this scripture, and this is in the first chapter of Luke, where it says she was a virgin engaged so she wasn't in her season of marriage to be having sex with her husband to get pregnant and have a baby she baby she wasn't there yet in her season but the lord said hey i got something for you and it might blow your mind but if you receive it here it is here it is he said you will conceive and you will give birth Come on, somebody. Then Mary said, well, how can this be? Because I have not had sexual relations with anybody. And the Spirit, she said, the Holy Spirit will come on, upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. She wasn't in her season, but in due season, there will be a time where you will give birth. There will be a time where your the vision that the Lord has given you will manifest here in the natural. But you got to do the work now. Mary's work was to be accepted of it. She said, um, she said, see, I'm the Lord's servant, said Mary. May it happen to me as you have said. She said, Lord, I'm a vessel. I'm, I'm allow you to use me how you want to use me. So I accept this. Although I'm not in the season, that the natural season of what I know to how, how a baby's supposed to come, I'm going to trust in, in the Lord. So, so may it happen to me as you have said. Come on, somebody. 
Say that over yourself. May it happen to me, Lord, as you have shown me the vision that you have shown me. Lord, and give me endurance. Give me wisdom and knowledge, God, to, to take the steps, to get into position, to receive. In due season, it is coming. It is coming. So I encourage you today to start now. Get your plan together. If, you got, if you're trying to get on budget, get your budget plan together. If you're trying to start a business, write your business plan. Start buying the materials that you need. If you're trying to make more friends, you know, make yourself more available. If you're just trying to stick to a schedule, buy a planner, fill it out, and cross out your task every day. But in due season, your vision will manifest as long as you start doing the work now. In Mary's situation, her work was simply accepting the Lord as it is your will. And most times, that's our, that's the only thing we got to do. Lord, let it be your will. Whatever your will is for me, Lord, I accept it. And you walk into it. The woman I am to now, the woman I am now, I would not be her if I didn't simply say, Lord, have your way. Because clearly my way is causing destruction. And everything that I thought I knew about this world and how to live it is invalid, Lord. And so I'm seeking the truth. I'm seeking to come back to where I, where I know where I'm most fond of which is in you. And no matter how much you grow, um, mature, and so forth, you got to stay grounded in the word of God. Because as long as you are working in purpose, God-given purpose, the enemy is working against you. Okay? And so you have to keep in mind, I'm not there yet, but in due season... These things shall pass. These things will come because the Lord is not going to give you a vision and not let it um, come, come to fruition unless you just simply don't do the work. That's, 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 that's just really just plain and simple. So I want to encourage you today, sis. Go ahead and do what you got to do now because in due season... The vision will manifest. Understand. Also, let me just say this. This, is, this isn't this is about um, adding, but this is also about having things that are removed from our lives in seasons. Job roles. Friendships. Relationships. Other circumstances. Sometimes those things are only for a season. And they fall out out of our lives. But don't let that discourage you. Keep yourself rooted in the word of God and analyze what's happening in your life. And if it's in alignment with what the word of God says, then girl, you good. Then girl, you good. Listen, I was talking in the group this week. Listen, you may be in a season where you feel like you are alone. You may be in a season where you feel like you're losing friends or you don't know what to do because you can't do what you used to do. But let me tell you, you're right where you need to be because you're in the season where the Lord needs to do some work on you and he needs your undivided attention. Maybe that'll be a message, undivided attention. Because there's some things that he got to break up off of you. There's some things that he got to get you to understand so that you can be prosperous. So that you can walk into the character that he's predestined you, the, the woman that he's predestined you to be. So that you can embody the character of Christ. So that you can operate in the mind of Christ. So that you can be wise of the enemy's devices. There's some things that you got to that you got to do some inner work. To, to, to get understanding of so that you can move forward and be prosperous. So if you're in that season of loneliness, don't fret. Don't be afraid. Don't feel like you 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 lame or, or you not doing nothing and this and that, right? Because you see everybody out hanging out. Trust me, I know that was me and sometimes that is me. I'm like, Lord, why don't do that? 
but it's simply not my season, you know? And I'm cool with that because I understand that there's some, I, we, I still have work to do and you have work to do as well, sis. And so I pray to God this message blessed you as much as it blessed me. In due season, these things shall pass. Start doing the work now, whatever the vision is, whatever the goal is, it will happen. You got to start working towards it now and in due season, it will manifest, okay? Let's go, somebody. All right, sis, I really hope, again, I hope this message blessed your life. If you are not in the Woman Alike group on Facebook, first of all, thanks for listening. And um, make sure you go and join the Women Alike group on Facebook. The title of it is Women Alike Christian Women Connection. Go on there, answer the questions, join. Um, our first Bible study is going to be on April the 18th at 8 o'clock. And then the first lesson from the No More Excuses workshop is going to be on that Friday at 8 o'clock. So you need to be in the room, okay? You need to be in the room. Um, access to the group is free. Access to the teachings is free. All you got to do is buy the workbook. Okay? So, I really hope to see you there. Um, and please always respond. Leave, let me know how these messages are, are being received. Um, that they're helping you or whatever the case may be. I'd love to hear from you. And again, I thank you for listening today. May God bless you and keep you in all the things that you do, all of your endeavors. And um, let me tell you something, I'm going on spring break this week. So I'm going to be having me a great time. All right. So God bless you. Enjoy. <laughs>